Hey guys, what's up? This is Brett coming at you with a new Friday on the turntable. If you missed last week's feature, I discussed uh, the replacements album Tim, so be sure to check that one out down on my channel. Um, so let's get started here. This week I am talking about uh, just an incredible album, uh, Ministries The Mind Is A Terrible Thing To Taste. Well, this was their fourth album, which came out in um, actually on November 14th, 1989. Um, excellent, excellent album. Um, this was preceded by The Land of Rape and Honey, which kind of marked a pretty, pretty steep departure in the sound of ministry. Um, if you followed them at all, if you're familiar with their first album with Sympathy was very synth pop. They moved on to Twitch, which started to incorporate a lot more electronic and um, a bit more harsher elements. And then by the time of the third album, it started to get really uh, more aggressive. And by this time, uh, it just all came together and uh, just a perfect blend of um, guitars and electronics and heavy drums and just out of control vocals. Um, I first got this album as a Christmas present on cassette from my parents one year. I'm guessing it was shortly after this came out, uh, maybe 1989 or 1990. And um, so I, I just love this album. For me, it's a, it's a 10. And um, I've, uh, I've owned it on, on cassette. I don't have my original cassette. Uh, the CD version, which includes an additional track that's not on the vinyl release, the closing track called Dream Song, which is really trippy, um, is is on the CD and the cassette. But it, but it, um, I, I assume because of time constraints, it was never, it wasn't included on the vinyl edition. And I'll show you. Uh, it's got the uh, little skull X-ray on there, picture sleeve, and this is on. Um, on Sire, Warner Brothers Sire. Um, I'm, I'm very excited because uh, this vinyl edition that I actually have in my hand right now, I just got yesterday from uh, a friend named Heather and I bought a bunch of her records and um, this was one among them and um, I've been wanting to feature this album here on my Friday in the Turntable for a long time, but I didn't have the vinyl edition until, until yesterday. So thank you, Heather very excited to have this um, um, so anyways uh, this is produced by hypo luxa and hermes pan which is just some pseudonyms for um, al jorgensen and paul barker who are the duo behind ministry um has a lot of um guest appearances on this album ogre from skinny puppy uh, bill rifflin rifflin who um who was who played in uh, plays in swans played with R.E.M. Um, after the departure of uh, the original drummer Bill Barry all the way up until when they um, uh, threw in the towel. He's also in, in Pig, was in Pig Face, so just an all-around great drummer. And um, uh, Chris Connolly, you may know, I think he was in Pig Face and a uh, Scottish guy. And uh, he, he sings on this as well. And then I didn't even know this until I was looking at the credits actually last night, but a guy named Mars Williams play saxophone on the four track Cannibal song. And if you guys um, watched my uh, feature on the Psychedelic Furs, um, you'll, you may recognize the name Mars Williams because he's been with the Psychedelic Furs since the, sometime in around 83. And he still tours with them, sax player, but he performed on, they played sax on Cannibal song. And I just found out that he is actually from a town uh, called Elmhurst in Illinois, which is just a couple towns over um, from where I grew up in Stone Park, and uh, my dad actually used to work in Elmhurst, so a little tidbit of information I thought was was kind of cool. Um, uh, the the singles that uh, came out, the official single on this album was uh, "Burning Inside," which you guys may have seen me feature this as well. Um, uh, this was the second track. Uh, starts with this, just this great. Um, build up of drums before the guitars kick in and it's just a phenomenal phenomenal song um, I just remember being on tour and I think it was around 2004 and I may have told this story before but we were um, driving through I think it was some desolate part of uh, Utah southern Utah and my brother uh, I was driving and my brother was in the front seat and we had this this album just cranked up so loud 
um, and it was just incredible. <laughs> so whenever I think of this album now, I, 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 I think of driving through this desolate part of Utah with all these weird mountains and just out of control, loud um, ministry. But uh, so Burning, Burning Inside, I think there was a few promotional singles, but my favorite tracks on this one, um, like I said earlier, it's a 10 for me, this album, but Thieves, the opening track, incredible. Burning Inside, uh, Breathe, So What? I mean, it, it's all excellent. And um, uh, what was I gonna say about this? Uh, there's a, this album also blends a lot of samples from various movies. It has uh, samples from Full Metal Jacket, um, from Hellraiser 2, Scarface. Uh, what was the other ones that had it in there? Uh, Prince of Darkness. And uh, yeah, so for sure. But um, uh, for, the, for uh, a few people have asked when they've seen me um, feature ministry on my on my turntable or on my um, playlists and stuff that I've asked about you know what's a good album to start with and um, I always tell everyone this one this is the for me the climax um, of ministry this the album that followed this Psalm 69 which came out in 92 is also a great album um, and as is the, the one that preceded this one the land of rape and honey but for me this is the absolute best ministry if you can get a if you can um, if you can get a hold of a copy of this on vinyl, highly recommended starting starting here. You know, even if you if you find it on CD, sounds killer too. So yeah, so ministry, the mind is a terrible thing to taste. So I think I said everything that I needed to say about this one. Um, so I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on um, on this album. I know there's a lot of you out there that are ministry fans because you've left me comments before. So um, yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll uh, be back in a day or two with my weekly playlist and some uh, killer new vinyl finds. So I hope you guys have a good weekend and uh, thanks for subscribing. And I'll talk to you soon.